Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is autumn on my desk. Also, if I look outside my window, finally autumn is really here. The leaves are turning. I love this. It is raining, but that's okay because it's free. Yes, if you are in the Netherlands, the rain is free. So stop complaining, Dutchies. You get it for free. <laughs> it's a Dutch thing. If you get something for free, you stop complaining. Okay, guys. So uh, what is the plan for today? I think you can already spot the bingo cards. I have some bingo cards. Yeah. And lots of other pretty stuff. All in beautiful fall colors and such. So I'm going to play with bingo cards. So here's the idea. I want to turn bingo cards into, I guess, pocket coin envelope thingies. Yeah, it's going to have a window, a closure, all sorts of lovely autumn fall decoration on it. Uh, what do you use them for? Well, you can put them in a journal, in a pocket, in a journal, or you can hinge them in a journal or put something lovely in and use it as sort of a gift or revolutionary idea. Guess what? You can make it just for fun. Yes, that's what I do. Just make it because we love crafting and paper crafting and such. And we want to make something. Okay, so that is the plan. I've never made one before, but I think we'll manage. Let me show you the supplies that I think I might be using for today. The supplies. Let's start with the papers. Now I'm using bingo cards. If you don't have bingo cards, love, use something else. Not like beautiful scrapbook paper or what have you. I have bingo cards. I love these colors, very fall colors. So I'm going to use bingo cards. I am, however, also going to use some scrapbook paper. Well, this is actually sort of design paper. This is from 49 and Market, the Spice Collection. I think it's called Spice something. Oh, Art Options Spice. Yes, these are six by eight. Lovely, double-sided. Um, I would sort of prefer double-sided paper because there's going to be a window, sort of a window type of thing in the bingo card. Uh, for this, I am going to use the Art Options Spice film strip frames. Now, guys, uh, bear with me because I've never used these. Yeah, I think they're lovely. It's from, made from acetate. Several ones in them. You have these small film strips, a big sort of film strip. Also some like these ones. Cute, right? Yes, never use them. Now, if you don't have these, don't worry. Use any other piece of acetate or plastic or packaging material or or not. Or not. You don't even need this. Yeah. Um, now, for decorating, in this collection also came these laser die cuts. Let me tell you what they're called. Spice laser cut mixed media leaves. Oh, there are 49 in there, of them in there. Is that by accident or, you know, 49 market? Could be, a no. Oh, that's also nice. Could also use some of this. So, yeah, these are uh, sort of the die cut uh, leaves with... Uh, there's some sort of text in the back and lots of mixed media. Now, I am not a mixed media type of girl. Uh, so, this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But I'm going to give it a try. Uh, for the decorating, I'm also going to see if I can use um, some mushrooms. I have some of these left. So I might cut out some mushrooms. I really want this to be fall-like. Uh, and also, um, you know, my bits and bobs. I'm going to probably use some labels, poster stamps. You know, my small bits and bobs. I got this the other day in a big, big happy mail. These are stickers. Now, I never use this. <laughs> I never use this. Uh, but I might because it has pumpkins on them. says harvest and, you know, stickers. They are a little bit shiny, but, you know, this is also shiny. I don't know. I might. Might, guys. Is that it for papers? I think so. Maybe some scraps, guys. I might use some uh, scraps. Now, for the um, other supplies, the tools and such. For tools, I'm going to use uh, the basics. Uh, scissors, a ruler and a knife, um, glue stick. I am probably going to use barely art glue think so for this one uh, you know i always have my corner rounder handy just you know just in case now <clears throat> i will use my my glue gun i'm going to tell you later why i'm going to use my glue gun i'll use a scoreboard not necessary because you know you can i'm just going to make a couple of folds but it works handier with a scoreboard a paper trimmer don't need it i'm going to punch probably some holes so um a tool that punches holes 
a smaller tool, uh, tool a bunch of smaller holes so my pokey tool um i might also make uh, my own sort of hole reinforcer so i'm going to use um a circle punch circle punch yeah that's is that it for the tools yes now the supplements let's call them the supplements <clears throat> most likely i'm going to use some um hole reinforcers i will use brats yes this is just for decorating guys not really for the um, assembling of the of the sort of bingo card whatever i'll use a button for a closure for this i'm going to need a bit of string so you know a bit of string i have bingo numbers yeah i do i have them so why not use them yeah i might do some stamping if i do um i'm going to use my splat stamp of course I'm using fallen leaves for stamping and i've taken out the obscure uh mostly because the taxi bit i might put uh october 31st not halloween night i know guys halloween's coming and it's lovely and all but i don't celebrate halloween and i just don't feel comfortable with it so no halloween for me um <clears throat> and i'll be distressing and inking Depends on the color of the bingo card that I'm using. I don't know if I'm going to use one, two or all three of them. Let's see how far we'll get. But depending on the color of the card, I'm going to choose the color of the ink. So that's it for the supplies. But you know me, I might along the way change my mind, have a new plan, new idea, add some more or leave some stuff out. You never know. You never know. It is an adventure every day. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I am going. I, I, I've thought about it a little bit. I think I'm going to do all three of them. Just sort of in a production line. So I'm going to attempt to do all three of them. I'm going to start with um, adding something to the background um, of the bingo cards. Let's start there. Let's start with the background of the bingo cards. Now guys, these are vintage. They're a little bit older. These two came from the same game. This came from another, a different game. But that's okay. It's a little bit taller. That's just fine. I just like the colors. So they already look a little bit grungy. But I want to grunge them up a little bit more. However, I'm going to leave the edges intact. So I'm not going to be roughing them up. Yeah. So um, for aging up, I'm going to use tea dye with a brush just to add a little bit more color to it i want to uh, put some splatter stamping on it and i might do a little bit of background stamping with maybe this because i enjoy this or maybe a little bit of this i don't know um but let's just start with you know making them a little bit darker this is the lightest color these are a little bit more ye already yellowed now while i'm doing this guys i need to sort of uh, apologize for uh, last monday's video uh, i have a new phone which means i have a new camera uh, and i'm gonna i'm playing around with the settings a little bit and some parts were a little bit out of frame i apologize uh, i'm gonna try to uh, pay attention to this hopefully it was still enjoyable i think so it wasn't a lot out of frame but you know some parts were out of frame. So I'm just going to age it up a little bit. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I really want to finish all three of them. I'm going to do one on camera. And then the other one's off camera. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat all the steps three times. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit more yellowed. Am I going to ink the edges? I am. I am. Now, I want to go a little bit grungy on this one. So, I will go around the espresso. Just for the edges. The paper, the cardstock on this one, has a little bit of a film on top of it. It's not glossy or anything, but... Um, yeah, it's coated in some way. So that's why I'm sort of trying to smear the ink out a little bit. And there we go. A little bit more on the corners because that's what I like. See? Yeah. A little bit here. Okay. Um, for splatter stamping, I'm going to go very light. 
I think I'm just going to do... Are you going to do tea dye? No, I'm not going to do tea dye. Uh, vin oh, vintage photo. Let's go classic. Classic! See, now I'm, uh, now I'm off camera. But, you know, I'm just dab dabbing <laughs> my splatter stamp. Yeah. Again, um, because there's a little bit of um, coating on this one, it needs to dry. I need to let it dry. There you go. A little bit of smudging it up, splatter stamping and such. Yeah. What else? I want to do some text thingy in the background. Or this spider web. Well, it's not a spider web. It's not a real spider web. Anyway, I don't know what it is. But I want to have it in the background, but very, very light. So for this, I am going to use a uh, tea dye. I'm going to use tea dye. I think so. I think so. While I'm doing this, guys, got a lot of questions. How was the wedding? The wedding was lovely. It was lovely, guys. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to post any pictures because most of the pictures they took, all other different people's uh, wedding guests were on them. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, for privacy reasons also, I don't think... Tim, my husband, feels very comfortable with me posting pictures of us. I might be mistaken. But I don't think he will feel comfortable. Let's just see how this will work. Oh, yes. Can you see? Oh, yeah, that's just interesting. Oh, that makes it look a lot more interesting. Yeah. So, yes, it was lovely. It was, well, it was a typical Dutch wedding with uh, silly dancers. And <laughs> I don't know. Um... I cannot be honest, I don't really enjoy Dutch weddings. No, don't really like them. I'd rather go to, um, oh, try a wedding in Belgium. Because those people know how to party. Yes. Uh, it was a young couple. Um, I didn't know them. I know that I knew they were younger. They're not like babies or anything. But, you know, guys, <laughs> you can probably uh, relate. The older you get, the younger young people seem. To me, they were like, my gosh, they're babies. They're babies getting married. What are you doing, guys? Live a little and then get married. And they were small, petite and lovely. She looked lovely, yes. Uh, because I was in um, the bridal fashion for years and years, I immediately recognized the designer of, of her dress. And she did a good job. Yes, she did a good job. Yes, it looked lovely on her. Um, she did not buy it, however, in a shop that I worked at. So that was a shame. But hey, but hey do we also need some text? Also, do we want this in a, in a different color? Yeah. Oh, I love the background. Look, look this. Completely different already, right? Yeah. Yes, and about the cards. Yes, let me tell you about the cards. Um, they probably loved it. I don't know what, is, what it is that you do. There's a big box on a table that said... Uh, put your wedding card in here. So I put the wedding card in there. I don't know if they liked it. I don't know. They might. They might not have. Let's be honest, guys. If you're not um, crafty or, you know, if you're not into it, I don't know if the text added anything. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm not too happy with the text, but it didn't add enough for me. Uh, so I don't know if they like the card. But guess what? I like the card and I like making it. So that's the only thing that is important to me. Okay. Um, yeah, I love it. Love it. And this is just the background. But you know what I'm going to say now? Yes, you could be done. You could be done. So I'm going to do the other two as well. All three are done. I love them. Now, I have chosen these film strips to work with. Um, they have sort of the small thingies still in them and I think I want to keep them in am I? I think so yeah so I have a purple one a green one and an orange one now I could put the orange on the orange the purple on the purple and the green here but I thought I might switch it up so I'm gonna put um, this here this here and this here or like so yes much better much better now as you can also already tell there's a row of numbers here yeah you can just put it on there, but I want this actually to be a window. So I need to cut out a row of uh, numbers. Um, however, this one is a little bit taller than these. So 
So what it is that I'm what is it that I'm doing? I'm going to cut out this row of numbers here, these ones, and on this one I'm just going to cut out um, this row of numbers a little bit higher. I'm going to slash through the 51 because these strips are well they can fit on here, but I'm going to cut one off. So they're going to have one, two, three, four. Let's call them small windows. And I want to attach them here and here. Yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to do it on this one, guys. First, I'm going to cut off one of the windows. For this, I'm going to use a knife. Where's my ruler? I got everything out. And now can, I can't find anymore. Here it is. Here it is. This one is sort of already loose. So I'm going to cut this off. Here, hopefully this will work. I'm thinking it will. Keep it steady, love. Um, because this is acetate, it will move underneath my ruler. So I need to keep it steady. Or you could just take out scissors. Yes, you could just take out scissors. <laughs> That'll work as well. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to leave them in. So it's going to look like this. Yeah? So I'm going to take out this row. Again, I, for this, I am going to use a ruler and a knife. Now, if you don't have a bingo card, just sort of measure what you want to take out. Take out this. I'm going to go in the lines. Work with me, ruler. There we go. Am I in frame? Yeah, I am. <laughs> there you go. And then the last one. Not the last one. You have one on the top as well. Yeah. I'm going to keep this. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to use it on this project. Oh, maybe, maybe. I might. I might. It's lovely decorated. Oh, yeah, I might. Cool, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do that with the other two as well. And then I want to have this on as a window. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Now, I will use a little bit of glue, but I'm also going to um, put brats in. <laughs> yes. I just want to put some brats in. Now, you can put brats in every window. I'm going to put them on the uh, top, in the middle, and on the bottom. Otherwise, I would use a lot of brats. Small ones. Yeah, I'm going to use small ones. I think these. These ones, yeah? Okay. However, I think I will glue it down first. I'm hoping these will stay in. I'm hoping they will. If not, I'm gonna, I can take them out later. No worries. Um, I'm using Barely Art for this one. Good morning, Art. How are you doing? Do you want to go have a play today? Yes, here it comes. Just a couple of dots. Now, there are no um, openings where you see the openings here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, so I have to cut... some holes in them because I want to add the brads. But first, I think I'm going to glue it on. Is there an up or down on this? Well, probably not. Here and here. Yes. Now I'm hoping this will hold. Guys, I'm going to let it dry for just a second before I put the brats in. And the brass will also keep them sort of attached. Isn't it lovely already? I like it. Really like it. I think it's dry. Did the other ones as well, guys. I'm going to keep what was left. Of course, I have these sort of, sort of tiny frame thingies. And these. Lovely, right? I might use them on this project. Probably not. But I might. You never know. You never know. Okay. Um, it needs holes. Uh, put a little bit of sort of felt underneath or whatever you want to call it 
Um, I'm taking my brads. I'm going to use six of them. Two here, two here, and two in the middle. So let's start at the top. Hoping this will work. I think so. Let's see. Put this through. Hello, go through. Oh, yes, and I love it. Yes, because this is going to be a pocket, I need to put tape over it. So the legs are going to go straight up and not sideways. Otherwise, otherwise the tape will be over uh, the windows. And we don't want this right now. Another one here. Now, if you don't have the film strips, uh, use a piece of acetate. Straight up, love. What did you just say? Straight up, not sideways. Oh, I can do this one sideways because it's on the top. <laughs> but do it sideways, yeah? Do as I say, not as I do, love. <laughs> okay, and then in the middle, so I'm going to have one here and here. I'm really hoping these small sort of windows will stay in. They probably won't <laughs> because I'm fiddling about it a lot and they'll probably pop out. They are attached at some points, yeah. But I just want to, them to stay in. Yes. There you go. Oh, isn't it lovely? I'm going to do the bottom one. I just love brats. Yeah. They add so much to a project. Well, in my opinion. And there we go. Well, let's finish it. Let's just finish it. Oops. Well, I'm going to finish it, guys. I'm going to finish it. And then the other ones as well. And then we need to move on to the next step. So I finished all of them and I put the tape on the back. Now, what did I do? I decided to kill two birds with one stone, which is an awful expression. <laughs> I put the tape a little bit over the edge so it would uh, sort of attach to the small window. So hopefully they will stay in there now. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to make sort of the back of the pocket and then the flap. Yeah. I took out a couple of... Um, pieces of the scrapbook paper yeah double-sided and here's how i paired them i want to make sure because it's, there's going to be a flap yeah so this is actually going to be the inside i love the brown with the blue and then this is going to fold over as a closure flap and then you will see this so i made sure i had um, a lovely image that went well with the rest of the of the bingo cards so i paired these together and then this one, lovely pink with the purple. And then this one as well. Yeah, so that's how I picked the papers. Now, there's another thing that I did because the papers are um, six by eight. But this bingo card was quite a bit taller than these. I just trimmed them at the top. I trimmed them at the top, took a bit off, still need to ink it. Yes, so I made it a little bit um, shorter. I made them a little bit shorter. Why? Because otherwise the flap would have been like tiny, tiny. And I really want the flap to go over the part that says bingo. It'll work now. It'll work now. Yeah? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the back with the gussets and the flap. But I'm not going to glue it on just yet. Let me show you how I make sort of the back of this with the flap um these are going to be the same this one is going to be a little bit different because it is too tall and i cannot make a bottom gusset that i really want to do so i'm going to show you first how i'm going to do it with these two which are the, the shorter ones going to start with the orange one now this 
uh, does take a little bit of measuring, guys. But I'm, I want to, to sort of take you to my thought pro process. I want to make a gusset a uh, quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch here. Yes. And then, of course, the flap. On the flap part, also, I need to leave a quarter of an inch on the top. Otherwise, it won't fold in and you won't have any room to put anything in. Does that make any sense? Hope so. I'm hoping so. Okay, so I'm going to measure this one. This one is four inches by... One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. A little bit over, a uh, shorter than six and a half. Four inches. I'm going to start with the two sides, yeah? Okay, four inches. Uh, this is going to be the outside. Yes, because we're going to flap this over. This is going to be the flap, so this is going to be the inside. So I am going to, first, I'm going to uh, trim this one. Yeah, this needs to be shorter. Four inches, quarter inch here, quarter inch here, which means four and a half inches. Yeah, this is actually six. So I need to cut it four and a half inches. There is, lucky for me, Four and a half inches on here. So I'm just going to cut this, trim this at four and a half inches. Am I in frame? Hopefully I am. Do I like this part better? Yes. <laughs> I like this part better. I'm going to flip it over. There you go. Four and a half inches. We made a lovely scrap. Yes. I am not going to take off anything from the bottom i'm going to use a whole piece now the bottom piece needs to have a quarter inch gusset gusset let me try to explain if you don't know what this is i need to flip it over guys otherwise i cannot score this gussets are sort of flaps that you make uh, uh to make the pocket a little bit wider so you can put more stuff in or put stuff in more easy easily easier i'm sorry dutch dutch much <laughs> yes <laughs> and i also need to score see it's too short a uh, quarter of an inch on both sides so on the bottom and on both sides hoping that that this makes any any sense that'd be lovely if it makes sense Quarter inch. Yes. Quarter inch here. Quarter inch here. Quarter inch here. Yeah. I'm going to start folding. So I'm folding this up. Heavy paper. Heavy, heavy paper. And I'm folding these in. Which is not easy at all. Not easy at all. Oh yeah, I also need to do the top part. Forgot, I also need to do the top part. Well, let's, let's first do these. Yes. Oh my gosh, this paper is heavy and a quarter of an inch is not very easy. To fold at all. But that's okay. I'm going to start cutting from the bottom. On the bottom guys. We have a tiny a square here. I'm going to cut the square out. But I'm going to cut it at an angle. So a little bit. Let me check if I'm in frame. A little bit over here. Yes. And a little bit over there. Yes. This is called mitering it. I believe so. Do not know for sure. Why? Because otherwise there would be create a lot of bulk here. Yeah? Let's just sort of quickly check. Oh, I really need to score. <laughs> I need to need to score to burnish this well. It's heavy paper. Maybe you should not have used this heavy paper. Yeah, because it does not really want to fold well. But it's so pretty. So I just wanted to use it. Okay. So this is going to be glued on here. Like so. Yeah. Here, here and here. And now we also need the top. 
the top part. Now I just can uh, uh, could sort of fold it here, but I'm I'm going to leave a little bit of room on the top. So uh, again, a quarter inch. Yeah. So how tall is this? And this. I'm going to score. I'm just going to mark it. You could measure it, guys. You could measure it, but I'm just going to mark it. About. About there. Leaving a bit of room. Because I want this to be the flap. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be the flap. Which means we also need to take this off. Again, I am mitering it. So, just on this side. Yes. Cut it at an angle. And cut this piece just straight. Because I think I want to round corners on the, on the flap. Yeah. So, this will actually be the flap. I'm hoping I'm making it sense, guys. I'm struggling with the paper a little bit. Yes. See? This is the flap. Very cute. Rounding corners, we are. Tada. I am not gluing anything down yet. But it will look awesome. Yeah. I'm going to have it like so um i'm going to do this with the blue one as well same principle on this one guys because this is a little bit taller i am not going to do the bottom gusset otherwise i will not have enough room left on the top so i will leave out the bottom bottom gusset i would have preferred to have it but um i cannot but it will it'll be fine it'll be fine so i'm going to do that with the other two as well Made all the backs on them. Um, see, on this one, guys, I did not do a bottom gusset. Inked all around it. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, before I glue these on, I want to do something here in the background. Now, this is a little bit darker. Also, I don't want it to be a lot on here. Um, so, I think I want to do some stamping. Just some stamping, just some interest in the background. And uh, what I also did was pair them up with um, one of the laser cuts. So this is going to go on here. This one is going to go on here. Yeah. And I have another one here, which is actually too big. It's way too big. So I need to cut a piece off, but that's okay because that's why we have scissors. So, um, these are very delicate, guys. Very fragile with the small sort of stems. Um, so, I, I cannot sort of grunge them up or ink them up. However, I want to add a little bit. So, I think I want to do some stamping with splatter stamp and the text stamp. Where is my stamp set? Yeah. So I want to use um, this one. I want to use this one. Maybe I want to do this on the in the background. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that's what I'm gonna. And October was gonna do October, right? Maybe maybe on the on the back side, on the flip side. I don't know. Have I used this one before? Probably have not. Probably haven't. Okay. I'm gonna start with this one. Yeah. So this stamp is gonna go here, and then you're gonna see. I'm going to have this a little bit lower. Yeah, something like this. So I'm going to put this stamp here. Am I? Yes. Do we have a big block that will fit? Sure. Sure. What is I am taking out a, a rather dark color. I am going um, fallen leaves. First I find fallen leaves. There you go, Mr. Holtz. Lovely stamp. Supposed to be for Halloween. Well, I'm going to use it whole year through. Now, I don't know if I'm going to stamp it right. <laughs> I'm just going to stamp it here. It's just background, guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Are you going to do it on all of them? Yes, I'm going to do this one on all of them. 
maybe a bit of um, splatter stamping. If I can find it, it is here. Do we want a um, vintage photo? It's a lovely stamp. Well done, Mr. Holtz. Yeah. Have it sort of in the middle where you see it, love. <laughs> if you're not going to see it, you don't need to stamp it. Oh yeah, just a tiny, just a tiny bit. Yeah. So I'm going to do that on all three of them. Then with the leaves, I was wanting to have these leaves here. First, I'm going to uh, put splatters on them. There. So I'm going to mix media them even a little bit more. Oh, I really want to have a darker color on the edges, but I don't dare to because they will break. They will actually break. Script. Do you want to put script on it? I think so. Stamp block anywhere. Sure. Darker color. I'm just going to go with fallen leaves. Now I'm hoping this will look nice. If not, I'm going to pick out another flower. But it does look nice. Yes, it does. It just adds a little something. Yeah. Let's see. We have it on here. Yeah. Oh, I really want to darken the edges. I'm going to try very carefully. Do I have ground espresso here? Yeah. At least on some of the tops. Can you see the difference, guys? It just gives it a little bit more sort of depth or dimension to it. So yeah, I'm going to carefully um, ink all these edges. Put stamps on here, stamps on here and on the inside. Yeah? Okay, let me do this. Turned out really well. Did not break them. Stamped on them, splatter stamp, just sort of... Uh, ground espresso all around it now um i'm going to decorate a little bit more i am going to do this one on camera guys because this is a little bit tricky as you can tell i really want to show the pocket of course this is too um well too wide so i need to cut it down so uh yeah i'm going to decorate it before i glue it on i think that'll be work better so i want to have a little bit over um um, the po the sort of windows, that's okay. I'm going to cover up the brad, which is a shame. But it is what it is. Am I? Do you want to have it higher or lower? No. Whatever you do, it will cover up the brad. Um, what is it that I want to add? Well, I was thinking labels, posters, poster stamps, you know, a little bit behind here and there. And then I remembered I have uh, a whole bunch of this <laughs> from Michelle's Autumn uh, or Fall mega cluster whatever pack love it i'm going to link it below guys i've already uh shown you this in a what's up what's new and i probably made something with it i don't i can't i can't even remember uh there's so much in here she already has a new pack out the winter ephemera cluster mega pack i'm going to show you guys later i am not ready for winter yet michelle <laughs> so i want to i want to do some more with this pack. So it has lots of lovely ephemera pieces. Some labels and tickets. And and or what have you. So I just want to have some in the back. Somewhere. Like here. It does say rhubarb somewhere. Maybe a ticket. Small ticket. What else do we have? Such Oh fallen. Falling leaves. Yeah she does words. And sentiments. But then I'm going to cover up bingo. Is that... Do we want to cover up bingo? It does look lovely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't know. Mushrooms. No mushrooms. I wanted to have mushrooms on. I know. But I didn't. Another sort of small label that goes off the page. A tiny one. Maybe add some color. Maybe add some color. That is too big. Ooh. 
How about this one? Nope. I do not like the shape with this. Again, the ticket. Well, I have taken out the ticket two times, so I'm going to put on a ticket there. I'm going to put on this here. Fallen leaves. Falling leaves, not fallen leaves. No, that's that's my favorite uh, color to stamp with. Um, that's another ticket. Let's do this one. Yeah. Miss here some. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna keep it like so. I'm going to ink all around it and then glue it on. So I decorated all three of them. I just cut this off, guys. Yes, just cut the edge off. It's okay. It's okay. And then just ink it. Now, normally I'd share all the decorating with you guys, but there are a couple of other things that I really need to show you. So I decorated all of them like this one. Yes. And I managed to um, show the brats. Just, you know, sort of maneuvered it about. Yeah, put half, half a circle here and then... The other part just on the top. See, just I added a couple of Michelle's sort of bits and bobs and uh, inked all around them and glued them on. So they're pretty. Now, a um, couple of more things that I want to do. I, some of them, they can have a lot of decorating on here. So I want to put a little bit of decorating on the back. Just a lovely collage, maybe even. I don't think I'm going to use these. Yes, I'm going to use these and then some of these because these are amazing. Love them. Um, but I think the closure is going to be sort of tricky. Yeah? What to do first? Um, let's do the closure first. And then save the decorating on the back for last. Yeah? Okay. What will you need? I'm going to use buttons. Buttons. Yeah. I'm going to use string. Where's my string? This. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use an eyelet. All of them will have an eyelet. I will probably have maybe because I'm gonna I'm gonna put the eyelet here. No, that that doesn't need a whole reinforcer. I'm going to sew the button on, guys, on on here. Like so, just with a thread. And when I glue the pocket down, I'm going to put an eyelet through all the layers. It'll be fine. I promise you, it'll be fine. And then put some string through that you can sort of wind up. Yeah? But to sew the button on, I really want to strengthen um, this flap. Especially where I, I sew the button on. So I'm thinking just to punch out a circle with my circle punch. And you can do this from any paper or whatever you want. And I'm just going to use some of Michelle's... Um, Pieces of uh, ephemera because because why not? See, yeah, just a piece of this. Um, and have florals on the brown. Let's just have florals on the brown. Brown. Why don't we? And uh, on this one, what do we want on this one? Ooh. Bluebird. Will that fit? That will fit. Yeah. Okay. So, punched a couple of pieces. Yeah? Um, let's pair up the... This doesn't go here. This goes here. <laughs> this goes here. So, this goes here. Uh, I'm going to pair up the buttons. I think I want to have um, the orange one. Here. And then... This one here and this one here. Yeah, just pair them up. And that's fine. So, we need to punch holes through the flaps first. Let's do that first. So, let's start with this one. I did add a little bit of splatter on the, on the flap on the inside, guys. Just thought it might look nicer. Yeah? I am going to flip it over and find sort of the middle. I'm going to put the button on. Yeah? Sort of find the middle. Let's have it sort of over there. Take out my pokey tool or a big needle or what have you. Just punch it through two holes. There you go. Now I sort of know on the inside where I need to put this. So I'm going to put this over 
the holes. It will have holes in it as well, guys. Yeah. There we go. And this is printed on 160 grams, so it's a little bit heavier. I just want the paper to be a little bit reinforced. So I'm going to have this over it. Hopefully it dries well. I'm going to repunch the holes carefully. One and two. Because we just glued this on. See? Be careful. Okay. Yeah. Take out your needle if you want to. I'm not going to use my needle because I'm rubbish at sewing. <laughs> So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my needle threader through um, the button hole and this hole here. I'm hoping this will work. Yeah. Then have a piece of string. I'm just going to pull it through. Hopefully it'll work. Keep in piece of string. Yeah. Will it? Because I really don't want to... Um, the hole isn't big enough. The hole is not big enough, love. No. Need to make the holes bigger. There we go. Make holes. Not tiny punctures. Holes. We want holes. Yeah. I'm not going to do them both at the same time. No. Just I want to put this through here. There we go. I just... Cut a piece off and then also on the other side. There we go. And then I'm going to take them through the holes of the button. By all means, use a needle. Yeah, that'll be way handier probably, but I just like using my needle threader. In my opinion, that goes way quicker. Unless you do it like me and you do it wrong. <laughs> Come on, love. Put it through. Yep. Just once is enough. Yeah. I'm just going to tie a lovely bow. I am going to double knot it but because I really need to have this stay put. Just a lovely bow. Doesn't even really need a bow, guys. If you're not into bows, don't do bow. Snippy here. Snippy there. See? There you go. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to do this with the other ones as well. All the buttons are on. It's <laughs> lovely. I just like it so, so much. Uh, now I'm going to glue on the front of the sort of pockets. Yes. Before I do this, I again really want to try and make this as flat as possible. So really burnish it. There you go. Yes. Okay, glue. Glue on all these three flaps. There you go, the last piece. Putting on lots of glue. Okay, starting on the bottom, line it up, line it up, yes, on this side and on this side, please work with me, please work with me, It needs a little bit of help, guys, because of my paper that is very, very heavy. So I need to let it dry. You could put some clamps on it. I don't have any here at the moment, do I? No. See? It's getting loose already. I do have some clamps. So 
I'm gonna put some clamps on it because it really needs to dry. Yeah. But it will work. Well, hopefully it will work. Probably will. Might need more glue. Let's just find out. So put glue on all the edges. Yeah. And then glue this on. It took me a while to glue them and have them really, really tight. That's because probably I made the gussets like a quarter inch. Why did I do this? Because I did not have enough room to put uh, like a half an inch gusset on the bottom. But I would have preferred it because that would have been a lot easier to glue. Yeah, because I would have had more surface to put glue on. So I glued everything, put, it, uh, put the clamps on, my lovely assistants. Yeah, okay. Now uh, we need to put in an eyelet on the bottom. Have it sort of in the middle. Are these, mm, I'm going to use these ones, sort of flowery ones, shaped ones, yeah. But bigger setting. There we go. Yeah. Come on. You can do this. There we go. It is very near the other eyelet. And that's okay. Try to find the middle. I'm going to punch a hole. Yes, through all the layers. That's okay. Put this in. Yes, is it in? It is. It is. Then I'm going to take out uh, the piece of string again. How big do I want it? I don't know, guys. Yay much. Yay much. I'll probably trim it later. I'm going to double it up. Yes. Put it through the eyelet. Yes, make a loop. And then pull both pieces through. Probably have way too much, but that's okay. See? Yeah. And then you close this up. And then you sort of wrap it a couple of times around the button. Like so. See, it's way too much, but that's okay. And voila, you have your closure. Ta-da. Couple of times around the button. Oops, you can do it one more time if you want to. Oh, it's so, so cute. So I'm going to do that to the other two as well. They are so cute. Honestly, they don't need anything done to them anymore. But you know me, I can stop myself. Um, I just want to add some uh, beads on the ends of the, of the string. I just think that's a lovely touch. So I have... Some of them. These are just wooden beads that I found um, in a thrift shop. Either it was uh, jewelry that I took apart or just small bags with beads. So I'm just going to put some beads on the ends of the strings. That'll be fiddly. Yes, maybe I should have waited with cutting them <laughs> shorter. Yeah, here's one. Where's the other one? So, and then I am going to quickly check, guys, how much time um, I have left to do some decorating on the backs of these. Because there's lots of room to decorate there. Come on, love. These nails, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're my own nails. Yes, I keep com complaining about them. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm complaining and complaining. They're so pretty. Yes, they are, but I cannot work with them. See, just two beads on them. And then you uh, just uh, do the same. But it just looks nice. Well, I think it will look nice. I have no clue. There you go. Da -da, da -da. Oh, yeah, look. It's just cute. Just cute. So I'm going to do the other two as well. Um, and let me quickly check um, how far along we are in this video. And um, see if we can do a little bit decorating on the back. I quickly checked the time. There wasn't enough left. So I did all the decorating for you guys. Just a, a little bit on the back. Now, before I show you the end result, I'm going to comment on uh, my new sweater. Because I know you guys are going to ask me... Why are you wearing your pajamas? These are not pajamas. No, this is my new fleece sweater. It is pink. It is soft. It is fluffy. It is just lovely. So no pajamas. No pajamas. Let me show you uh, 
uh, what they look like. I am really happy with the end result, guys. Let's start with the tall one, the purple one. Yeah, I just loved like all the sort of um, textures on it. It has acetate, it has string, it has beads, a button, um, the brads and eyelet. It's just all sorts of yumminess and I love the colors turned out really nice I think the the acetate window yeah and then I just did a, a little bit of decorating on the back I used the strip that I took out from the from the front and just added you know a label a ticket or what have you now and then you open it up yep uh, added another label here and it had it is a pocket guys yeah you could put stuff stuff in yeah, that's the whole purpose of this sort of project. Have a big sort of pocket, envelope, whatever thing. So you can put it in a pocket in your journal. Um, or hinge it with a piece of tape or what have you. Uh, but you can also glue it in, guys. Glue it in, have this as another pocket. Then you would not have to decorate the back. Or, you know, as I mentioned, it's just fun to make. The blue one. Or the turquoise one, however you want to call it. It's lovely. That's what it is. Yeah, I added uh, one more uh, sort of label here. Yeah, on the back I had this. It says Octo, probably October. Yeah, in the same color blue. So I added that. Did a little bit of background stamping. Didn't work out really well because uh, it's very bumpy on the front. So the stamp did not really work. But that's okay because it was supposed to be smudgy. And just another label here. Again, it's a pocket thingy. Love it. Love it. Look at the button. Yeah. And then the orange one. I have no favorite, guys. Uh, I don't. I like them all equally. Did I add something here? I did not. Made this on the back. Just, you know, three items. With some splatter stamping. And then again, just a lovely small note here. Now, what you could do, guys, what I could have done uh, is make a notch here to make the opening a little bit bigger. I was thinking about it, but with the purple one, the bingo, the name, the word bingo was all the way to the top. And I really did not want to cut out anything of bingo. So, yeah, that's just, you know, lovely. Put some, you know, items in and uh, have it as a gift or in a journal or what have you so i love them what do you guys think let me know guys that's it for today i hope you liked the video i really enjoyed myself yeah so i'll be back again this friday with another video no clue what it's going to be about let's find out until friday bye guys